Hey guys, today I wanted to tell you about our homeschool curriculum choices for the 2020-2021 homeschool year. That's really hard to say. So today I'm going to go through our family subjects and I'm going to go through everything one by one and I'm going to show you what we're going to use and then in another video I'll go through the individual subjects that my kids will be doing pretty much on their own. And I'm gonna go ahead and kick this off and get started. The way we try to start our day is with the Bible. So um, we'll start off by reading directly from the Bible. Whenever my kids learn how to read, we gift them a Bible. That's kind of their little reward for learning how to read. So everybody has their own Bible and we'll be reading from there. We will also be working through, here we go. We'll be working through our quiet time devotional. And these are our old ones from last year, but we will be finishing those up for the first month and a half-ish of the school year before we get our new ones. And after Bible, we go into character building and I keep my character building um, stuff in this little folder and I found these printables, well this curriculum and printables if you will, on Confessions of a Homeschooler or Confessions of a Homeschool Mom. I can't remember which one it is but I will link it below. And here is what this looks like. Hopefully you can see that. Um, each thing is a different character trait and it's a biblical character trait and each character trait is given four days for you to go through. They give you memory verses to memorize and they have um, questions for discussion. You read directly from the Bible. You read the Bible story, which I really appreciate. And then there's more questions, there's challenges, and there are activities for each character trait. Some examples of the different character traits that we have already done. We've done honesty, at least part of it, being a good steward, gentleness, slow to anger, and diligence are some of the ones that we started to work through. There's also humility and several more, and I'm not going to list them all out, but again, I'll put the website in the description box below, and you'll just scroll down the page and look for her character building curriculum. Next, on days whenever we're not doing the character building, we will be reading through Christian Heroes Then and Now. I picked up three of the books and we'll do one per trimester of the school year. So for 12 weeks, we'll focus on each of these books. So 12 weeks will be devoted to George Mueller. And then we'll move on to Nate the Saint and Gladys Aylward. So I will give us about 12 weeks to read each one of those. I don't know that it'll take that long, but we'll try to space it out over that course of time. So that is it for Bible and for character building or character study. Next up is memory work. I have decided to use Classical Conversations. This is the fourth edition book. The communities no longer use this book, but that's okay because I'm not part of a community. We're just doing it on our own. Um, I really see the value in the curriculum and I like the idea of it. So we tried it out a little bit last year by using um, YouTube videos that tutors put together. And we tried that out for part of the year last year. We really enjoyed it. And I think having all of this don't mind my clacking dog. She just ran through. Okay, so next is, I'm going over this. This is where I'm at. This is where my brain's at. Okay, so the Classical Conversations Foundations is what we're using for memory work. And each week is outlined like this. Hopefully that kind of gives you an idea. So each week for memory work, you have history, you have acts and facts timeline, you have a history sentence. For geography, you have a little piece of geography to learn. English, they give you um, 
a little thing to learn about English. One example is eight parts of speech, noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, conjunction, interjection, preposition, adjective. And then there is Latin. And this mostly has to do with endings. Um, I That's all we've seen. And I saw that later on they start to learn like little Bible verses and things like that in Latin. So they're mostly like songs and chants and things like that. And I'm not 100% sure if we'll actually use the Latin portion since we're going to be doing something with that separately, which I'll talk about in a moment. And then there's also math work, science. In this book, they also give ideas for fine arts and hands-on science experiments. But I mostly plan on using this for the memory work portion. And then I also picked up the CDs. And these go with the fourth edition book. And I picked these all up secondhand. But I figured with these, I can use these on days whenever I need to give attention to my one-year-old. I can kind of put these on and my older kids can work through these as part of their memory work. I can just hit play and we can kind of sing along. So to go with the Classical Conversations curriculum, I love the idea of their timeline cards. Their timeline cards are not in my budget. They can be quite expensive. So I found the Veritas um, timeline cards and it's a thick stack, which you can see, but you can match these up with the foundations curriculum by Classical Conversations. And this is what the individual cards look like. They have a little picture. There's two different ones. They have a little picture on the front see those and then on the back and then they also have the words of what they are down here on the bottom and that's what the kids are memorizing whenever they uh, say the little things and then on the back it has a little blurb about each about each time period if you will or each event that it goes over so we'll be using these in conjunction with the Classical Conversations foundations that we're using for memory work. Whew, that feels like a lot of words to get up. Okay, next up, we are doing Latin. And the reason why we're doing Latin is because I see the value in it as far as grammar goes and just learning the English grammar and learning grammar very well. From what I understand, Latin is the way to go if you really wanna understand language and how it works. So we will be doing Latin this coming year. And this is for my fifth grader and my third grader. They'll be working through this together along with myself. I do not know a lot about Latin. I do know that it opens doorways to make it easier for you to be able to learn other foreign languages, like especially romantic languages. So, that is my why for picking this. And my other why for picking this one, I was going back and forth between this curriculum and another one. And this one went out because it comes with DVDs and chant CDs. And this one again is called Latin for Children, Primer A. Okay, and so the DVDs, they do the little lesson, they have the little chant. They seem to be very well done. I watched the first lesson just to get a feel for it. So we have that. It also came with the workbook, Latin for Children Primer A workbook. And the way we will be using this is there is a memory page and it gives you the memory work for Latin. And there are also chants on, that, on those CDs that go with it and the little lesson. And then there is, are, there are grammar pages. And then there are two little worksheets. This one. And there's the second for this. And then lastly, there is a um, quiz. So we usually don't do quizzes, but with this, we're going to be doing quizzes just to check for understanding. I wanna check myself for understanding as well. So we will be doing um, these worksheets. So along with this comes the answer key because heaven knows that I need the answer key. 
because I do not know Latin. I'm going to be learning it with my kids and that is okay. It's okay if you don't know something, um, you can still teach it to your kids. You just learn along with them. Um, that's pretty much been the backbone of this homeschooling thing for us. Most of the stuff I've taught them thus far, I know, but a lot of the curriculum that I've chosen, it dives so much deeper. I've learned more about science and history than I have learned in my entire life. I've learned more about grammar than I ever knew. Um, so it's really, it's quite amazing whenever you're homeschooling how much you, the teacher, is actually learning. So this also came with an activity book. A lot of people would just call this busy work. It has things like crossword puzzles. Um, we usually don't do a lot of activities like this, but I feel like this will be good reinforcement for what we're learning during the different um, lessons. Finally is the history reader. This history reader, I believe it starts a few lessons and you start using that. I tried to read through it and I can't, so we'll see. <laughs> we're going to see this year just how good this curriculum is and I'll let y'all know because I have no background, so this will be interesting. Okay, so, so far we have had Latin, memory work, character building, and Bible. Now we're on to science. So for science, we're going to continue on going through the Apologia Young Explorer series. This time we have chosen to go with chemistry and physics. And the reason why we chose this is because my kids are really interested in chemistry and physics and just, um, I think we needed a break from zoology. We got a little bit wore out this year with the um, flying creatures of the fifth day. And some of the activities and experiments, they were a little bit harder for us to do because some of them, it landed in winter and it was more of like a spring or summer thing to do. So that made it a little bit difficult. So I'm excited to be doing Exploring Creation with Chemistry and Physics next year. What we're actually going to be doing, we did not finish all of the flying creatures of the fifth day. So we will be going back. We have two more lessons left in that book. We're going to finish out those two lessons, take the first month of this coming school year, finish up those two lessons, and then we're going to move on to this Chemistry and Physics. Now I also picked up the notebooking journals. We really like the notebooking journals. This one's the junior notebooking journal. This one is the regular notebooking journal. Okay, just for reference, the biggest difference that I have seen between these two is that the junior notebooking journal, it has coloring pages in it. The regular notebooking journal does not have coloring pages in it. The Junior Notebooking Journal has less writing than the regular Notebooking Journal. It has lots and lots of space for writing about what you're learning. It also has questions where, like this, you never see questions listed out like that in the Junior Notebooking Journal. So I actually think this will be really good. My fifth grader will be using this one, the um, regular notebooking journal. My third grader will be using the junior notebooking journal. Now the whole thing with this is my daughter, who is going into fifth grade, she absolutely is wonderful at reading and writing. She doesn't really get tired from a lot of handwriting. She can handle it. But I have chosen to have her using the junior notebooking journal until this coming year. I feel like we've reached the threshold where she's ready to move on. She isn't enjoying those coloring sheets or anything like that anymore. So it's time to go ahead and let her move on to the regular notebooking journal. So that is kind of what I would use to make my choice. If you're debating between whether to get the regular and the junior, take a look at how much handwriting do you really want your child to be doing whenever it comes to science and how much can they really handle? Do they get wore out from it? Because you don't want... Don't make your kids hate science or any subject for that matter. Um, make it as enjoyable as you possibly can for them. And really consider them more so than yourself whenever you're making these curriculum choices. Okay, moving on. History. We are doing Story of the World. 
the Middle Ages. We are finishing up what we left off with. So we made it about halfway through this book. We made it to chapter 20 or 21, something like that. But um, we're going to pick this up, finish off the second half. That's the goal for this coming year because there's like 42 chapters in this thing. There was no way we're getting through all 42 chapters in one year. There's some heavy stuff in this book. So Story of the World will be finishing up this coming year. This is the text and it's written in story form. It's really well done. And then this is the activity book. And this will have all of the questions and things like that in there. And it will also have the activity sheets. Now you can just make copies from this to go with um, for your activity sheets. Or you can save yourself the time and hassle because this is a lot to copy. I choose to buy a three ring binder and I buy the activity sheets. And I put the activity sheets in here. Give you an idea of what we're making copies of if you are going to end up making copies. So there's the maps, there's coloring sheets, and then there's actual like activity sheets in here that go along with the uh, different projects. Let's see if I can find one of those. Oh, here, the Turkish dancing bear. So you're going to be making copies of this stuff if you don't just buy it already done. So save yourself the time, the effort, and the energy, and possibly the money too, because it's cheaper to just buy the um, printables sometimes. So that is from the Well-Trained Mind Press. And that wraps up our family subjects for homeschool. Okay guys, so I completely forgot to add on about our tea time that we do. That is part of our homeschool curriculum every single year. For tea time, what we do is we follow Amblicide online for poetry, composer study, um, artist study, as well as folk song. And I will do another video to detail tea time and how we make that work. If you have any questions about any of our curriculum that we'll be using next year as a family, please put your questions in the comment box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so and would like to, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want notifications of when I post videos, hit the notifications bell, which is down here somewhere. But have a fantastic day, and I'm sure I will be talking to you soon in more videos. Bye!